Hi everyone, in the new Outlook there is a new function called Discover Groups. In this page are listed all m 5 groups where you are part of. Moreover, you can see also additional groups and you can request to join them. Now, in order to manage and rule the visibility of Microsoft 365 groups in this page, I'll show you an approach that you can follow because according to the tool that you use, Teams, Vivengage, SharePoint, Planner, Microsoft Entra Portal or the Admin Center, you are going to have a different result where you may experience some groups visible there and other not. So to better unify this behavior, I'll show you an approach that you can follow. All right, let's get started. Here I am in the new Outlook. Let's open immediately in the left rail groups. And here there is a new interface now available. You have on the left pane all groups listed where I am member of. And then here I have in the body of this page, I have several information about frequently used groups. I can open events for the group audit log, I can see members, I can discover files and I can jump into the email. So if I click on email, I am now in the email of this group. All right, let's go back. Now let's focus on this, on this one, discover groups. Let me open this page. Now here I can search for every group that I want, for example, let's type SPS. And as you can see, I have several groups. Now, the issue here comes when you start to search for specific groups where you are not member of. And this is a, a criticality in some organization because maybe you don't want that everyone in the organization request to join a specific Microsoft 365 groups. Changing perspective, I'm impersonating another user because I can show you much better this behavior. Let me open groups and now here let me go on discover groups. So immediately I can see a group where I am not part of, external partners. So what I can do here is click on the button join and now a request will be sent to every owner of this of this group if there is an approval process to allow users to become members. In this case, it's a public group, it's open, so I immediately joined this group. But I can start in typing and searching and discover additional groups. So it's like a m 5 groups catalog. It's really open. I can search for every group that I want. I I can see a couple of them and SPS Miami, SPS Utah team. So I can request to join every team. Now this is, for example, is private. So I need to provide a message to the owner because and why I'm requesting to become a member of it. So let me send this request. Now the owner of this team will, uh, of this Microsoft 365 group will get an email and then uh, has a owner has to approve or deny the request. So going back now to my user, Giuliano, and let me open the email, I can see a new request coming from Adele Events, so I can decide if approve or not or decline the, the request to become a member. So this is not really the best uh, use case for every organization. So you can have or you can wish for a mixed scenario where during the creation of Microsoft 365 groups, you can decide which one should appear or not in this new discover groups function. Now, before to, to show you how you can uh, change the visibility of Microsoft 365 groups to appear here or not, you, you have to be aware about two attributes related to Microsoft 365 groups. So there is one attribute that has an impact on the left panel here on groups. And there is another one that has an impact in the discover groups function. So you can decide to 
set these attributes to true, for example, and it means that this Microsoft 365 group will not appear in the discover groups function and will not appear here and the user will not able to manage the group from here. So it's up to you. You can also have an hybrid and mixed scenario where you have groups that can be maintained here on this groups page, but they cannot be discovered and vice versa. They can be discovered, but they cannot be managed here. So it's really up to you, but it's better rule this functionality because in Microsoft Teams, when you create a group, a new team, for example, this is not visible here. So by default, two attributes are set to true. So let's do that. Let's start to create several groups and let's see different scenario that you can experience. So let's start with that M365 group via team. Let's type this thing. I'm going to copy and I'm going to reuse later. All right, now I have to decide which the privacy, it is a private group. Let me go with public policy, for example, the name of the first channel and let's go. There we go. This is the team just created, Microsoft 365 group via Teams. Now, what I would like to do is open Visual Studio Code that I already have here and I'm going now to search for this group. You can you can use the Microsoft Entra if you want portal that will allow you to get the, the ID. So let's do that via Graph API. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code for that and also created a video how you can uh, consume gra Graph API using Visual Studio Code, but of course you can also use the official Microsoft uh, Graph API Explorer. So there we go, I have my group here. This is the ID. I'm going to reuse this GUID to make another call that I have here in this other page. Let me close this response. And now I'm going to paste here the GUID. Let's do that. And here we go. Now, the two properties that we need to focus on are hide from address lists and hide from Outlook clients. So let's see the two properties of this m 5 group. So they are true both. It means that you cannot search for this group. If you try to search this group, nothing will be visible and listed. In fact, let me let me do that. So let me go on again on my browser and let me search for it. So let me go on Outlook. I am in the new discover group function. Let's go on home. I can see now the discover groups page. This is the query. Let me paste the, the display name, the title of my m 5 groups. This is not visible. You see, it's not searchable and it doesn't appear even here. So it's not possible manage the group in this, in this page because we have both attributes set to true. And this is important to know. Now you can create m 5 groups in many other ways using a SharePoint, Planner, VivaEngage, and additional services in m 5 According to that, when you use another approach, these attributes can have a different value. So even if you use the Entra portal, or even if you use another service, it can be set to false both values. And let me show you this. All right, I'll now create three groups. Let me go in the Entra portal in the Microsoft Entra and here targeting uh, groups. I will now start the creation of new m 5 groups. So let's create this one and let me go with Microsoft 365 groups via Entra. And this is one. So I can decide uh, the owner of this one. Let me select uh, just one user that I have here, select and let's create this one. This is created via Entra. Now going on all groups in Entra, if you add this and then 
enter the right display name, you can see immediately here the GUID available, which match also with the GUID that you see in the URL. So this is the GUID of the Entrances 5 group created. All right, we have this one now. I'm going to take immediately this and then I'm going to open Visual Studio Code to make another call towards the Microsoft Graph API. This endpoint with this query, select hide from address lists, hide from Outlook clients, and also the display name because I want to double check that this, this is the right one. Now I'm opening the the group that I created before, Entrances 5, group via Entra. And what I have here are false, set to false, both properties. This means that if I open now here the, the perspective of Adele Events, and if I jump in the Discover groups, I can start here to search my group, the one that I just created. Let me open this one and let me type Entra, and here we go. So I have the group here available. It means that everyone in the organization can discover this group and request to join this, this group. So this is one thing. The other thing that I would like to focus on are other services where both attributes are set to false. For example, just to mention one, Viva Engage, and then uh, we have also the Entrances 5 Admin Center. When you create a new group from here or in Viva Engage, both properties will be set to false. And everyone in your organization will be able to search and request to access and become a member of these groups. You maybe want to change this experience and this behavior by setting these two attributes to true because you don't want that people start asking to become member in every group that they are able to discover. To change this, of course, all you need to do is run again another post to change this, uh, this value through the Graph API. You can embed uh, this logic in a logic app, in Power Automate Flow, in an Azure function, whatever is piece of artifact is able to consume Graph API. All right, let's start to do that directly in Visual Studio Code consuming the Graph API. So this is the GUID of the group created in the Microsoft Entra portal, called Entrance 5 Group via Entra. Now I'm going to open another endpoint, another page that I created here called Patch Group. And this one, let me close the response, it contains a patch request that will send as a body a JSON with both attribute set to true, because I want to completely hide this group to Outlook. All right, let me now go here and let me add the, the right GUID. So I'm going to paste the GUID of the group. Now I can click on send a request. Let's send the request. Now it's it's performed. So it means that now the both properties should set to true. So let's double check that. Let me reopen my page group and this is the, the request that I want to make. Same group but now both attributes are set to true. So now this, this group is gone. Let's double check that with Adele Events. In this browser instance, I'm going again to open Discover Groups, and now this group is gone. It's no longer searchable and it's no longer available here in the left panel on this page. All right, we have seen how you can manage the visibility of Microsoft 365 groups in the new Discover Groups of Outlook. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. Let me know in the comment down below if this video was helpful and what do you think about this capability. All right, I hope to see you next time. Bye.